Hello everybody, my name is Chris Brady, author of the Boeing 737 Tech Guide and the Boeing 737 Tech Site. And today I'm coming to you from Cranfield University and their Boeing 737-400 to have a look at the Aeron spoiler system on the aircraft. Now although we're in a classic, the system is virtually identical to that on the NG. There's one minor difference which I'll point out as we go around. Okay, so if you remember the the, the main input into the Aeron spoiler system is from the captain's control column. The captain's control column is also interconnected with the with the FO's control column, but the but all the the, the, the main inputs come in through the captain's side. So what we're looking at here is the aileron input shaft, and this rotates, and on top of it there's a quadrant and a pair of cables which run up to the flight deck and come down from the captain's control wheel. So this is a direct cable linkage from the captain's control wheel. As the captain's control wheel is rotated, so this, this aileron input shaft rotates. As it rotates, you can see it's connected to these two Pogo inputs, as they're called, and this is the one difference in the classics than the NG. The NG has got four of these, so it's got another pair up here. But on the classics, we've just got the, the, the one pair. And these connect to the aileron PCUs. So you've got the B system PCU here, and the A system PCU down there. They give the input to the PCU. The PCU then uses its hydraulic power to throw the crank and move this shaft here. And this is the aileron control uh, column. And on it, we've got these two quadrants. And these quadrants actually hold the cables that go out to the ailerons. So you can see there's a terminator there for this cable and the cable comes along, goes out, around the poly, and off up to the, to the left hand wing. So that's your, your left aileron linkage there, and the right aileron is the same above it, you've got a terminator on the, on the cable, the cable comes around the quadrant, this then goes across, around the pulley, and up the wing, to the right hand aileron. So that's the, that's the basic control wheel input to the aileron. Now, in addition to that, you know that the, the ailerons can be controlled from the autopilot, and the autopilot actuators are located here. So you've got autopilot A, autopilot B, again, a couple of actuators, and they move these linkages, these two linkages here, and they're interconnected. So if just the A moves, moves this linkage, B moves and moves this linkage, both linkages run through to the aileron input shaft. So again, they will rotate the shaft, causing motion in the PCUs, causing the aileron control quadrant to move, causing movement of the ailerons. The final thing to mention on the on the, the, the aileron system is down here, and this is the elevator, the sorry, the aileron feel and centering unit. Now, you know in the, the flight deck when you turn the control column with, with, with hydraulic off, so say on the, on the turnaround, if you were to just move the, the control column and release it, it would move back to the center position as it would in, in flight with the hydraulic off. That center position and that feel comes about from these springs here. You see there are two fairly heavy springs. That's your feel. There and there. That's what gives you the, the sense of resistance when, you, when you're moving the, the control wheel. They also are spring loaded back to the neutral position, and that's done by a cam which is attached uh, to, the, to this, uh, this aileron input shaft. The cam's a kind of a sort of a curvy triangle shape, a concave triangle. So there's a dip in it where the where the, the roller will will naturally want to sit. That's your central position. 
Now we can adjust that central position with aileron trim. So if aileron trim is moved in the flight deck, it actuates this, this little motor here. Behind the motor there's a little, uh, a little push rod and that moves, that physically rotates that cam and this whole aileron feeling centering unit round so that you, it adjusts the, the neutral position for the ailerons. Okay, well let's see that in action, shall we? And I'll, uh, I'll get my colleague to switch on the hydraulics and move the ailerons. Hydraulics and ailerons, please. It will be loud with the hydraulics on, so I may not be able to speak over it once the hydraulics are, are, are on. Okay. 